will be Calix. Calix won it. And Calix comes home to maintain his unbeaten record. We were on the gallops one morning in, in, in May and he went up the gallows, he just had raw speed, a raw speed. And I, I said, John, I, I think he's trying to tell you something. He said, I know, I know. Um, and of course, then he came out and won his maiden rally nicely. And it's Robert Havlin and Calix who have now gone clear. A half furlong to go, and the son of Kingman is pulling clear. It will be Calix to win on David. moving through on the near side. Over on the far side, shine so bright with Bangs, then Dubai Legacy, Indigo Balance, Barbill trying to stay on behind these, the Irish Rover. Calix under the near side rail, he's now asked to go and win the commentary. Banjo over on the far side, shine so bright, advertise staying on, but it's Calix who's clear in the commentary. Sergei Prokofiev first out of the pack on the far side. Calix got first run, Calix from advertise and Sergei Prokofiev, and Calix justifies the height and wins the commentary. Advertise in second, Sergei Prokofiev third from Bange. Behind these staying on was G Rex, who finished about sixth or seventh over on the near side. Calix was clear on the near side, and at the line still got over a length in hand over Advertise, his second. Look how far Calix has beaten his own group. Second, third, fourth, probably fifth and sixth are all in that far side cluster. Calix is, what, ten lengths clear of the group on his side, beating Advertise, Sergei Prokofiev and Banj over on the far side. Calix clocked a good time, as Matt mentioned beforehand, on his debut. He makes it two out of two. It's his unbeaten record that is intact. First blood to the bookmakers. Now the punters fight back with Calix. Oh my word, we were talking about the pedigrees. Kingman, this was his first winner out on the track. He has now stamped himself as a sire. Here's John Gosden, winning trainer, and he might have just seen a potential superstar there. Do you think we're dealing with the real deal here, John? Uh, he's very talented, you know, his father was exceptionally talented, so uh, he's got all of those attributes. I think for a horse, second time out in his life, to be left on his own, I think the high draw might not be the best draw, and the Queen Anne, the low numbers were first, second and third. And he's had to race on his own for the last two furlongs with a huge crowd screaming. That's a big ordeal for him, and I, I think he did amazing well to win. I could easily see him getting distracted and uh, with nothing to race with, but look, full marks the horse is all about the horse. And Frankie said, I've got to go now. Nothing's carrying me into the race, I've got to go. So uh, to that extent, yeah, a marvellous achievement and probably worth more than the winning distance. And how much more is there to work on with this horse? Well, you can see he's got a good bit of scope. He's a lovely horse to be around. A 44th Royal Ascot winner of your career. Has a horse at this stage of his career excited you as much at this stage? Well, we won the Queen Mary and we won the Coventry before, but I'd have to say, uh, yeah, he does make you get up in the morning. Well done. Thank you. The horses on my side, unfortunately, we weren't fast enough to leave me. I had make my own way home by myself and uh, I thought it was an amazing performance for uh, his second start and the way that he put the race to bed it was pretty special. We talk about the horses on the other side, you were a length ahead of them but you were miles ahead of the horses on your side. You've obviously ridden lots of good two-year-olds in your time. How good is this guy? I mean, beautiful raw talent, exceptional. Uh, it's only second start, imagine how much better he can get and uh, very excited. Uh, Okay, when I rode Lady Aurelia here three years ago, she was sensational over five, but over six furlongs, Colts race is uh, very hard to win, and the, the man that he won, uh, we can get excited. It set Kingman alight in his first crop uh, on, on the biggest stage of all, really, at, at Royal Ascot. Breaks go now on Calix and he strikes the front here and he's being asked to quicken and he quickens he does. He comes to clear by three to four lengths. Calix inside the final furlong. He's drawn four to five lengths clear in just a few strides and Calix comes home to maintain his unbeaten record really impressively. No, Normie, absolutely. Of course, Frankie has ridden in the past one of the fastest horses on the planet in Lock Song. But Frankie, that looked like an absolute savage performance. I was going that fast, even lost my hat. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Uh, we wanted to find out, see if it was uh, maybe a mile up because he's so relaxed at home, but he's, he's blessed with so much speed. I think sprint is his game. He was a, a huge, um, he was a huge advertisement for, for Kingman. Um, and Calix himself was a very, very good looking horse. And um, 
was incredibly impressive winning the Coventry and beating, um, beating Advertise in the process. He was a robust, strong, he looked like a rail sprinting type. Kingman will be pretty expensive next year and I'm sure a lot of people will want to breed to Calix um, to get that speed and precocity that he had. Great talent, great talent, great speed uh, and a, a rail will to run.